Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. So tonight I am going to work on some brainstorming ideas that I've had recently for a bazaar that we hope and plan to put on this fall and winter and um, pretty much throughout the year. We want to get ready for the holidays and I had some ideas for some fun pieces to put in our booth and so I thought I'd take you guys along tonight with me for this. This is going to be a tag for a stocking or a gift. We're looking at about three and a half inches wide and from tip to end about six inches. So these are going to be super fun to decorate and I'm also thinking about throwing some of these up on our Etsy shop in the raw. So if you're interested in getting your hands on some of these, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're interested in some of these, maybe you guys don't have the tools at home to get them cut in a quick, timely manner. We could also include some of these other options, trivets also. Um, and these, I don't know why, you know, on an extremely large Christmas tree, these would not work also as an ornament. So if you guys are interested in any of these in the raw, let me know. We can also pre-drill these like we have the tags and have them ready for you or include an eyelet hook whenever we ship them out. So let us know in the comments below. Are you interested in any of these options, the large tags for stockings, gifts. Um, these would even be great guys for marking your chairs. Um, super adorable to hang off the back of a chair with somebody's name on them to monogram your seating. Um, and then ornaments, coasters, either of these would work as coasters, um, and then trivets. So just let us know in the comments below, would you like these with the option of an eyelet hook or pre-drilled with a hole? Um, and we could offer any of these options on our Etsy shop. So anyway, leave that in the comments below. While you're down there, don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, click the subscribe button and also click the bell icon next to it so that YouTube will notify you of future videos. But anyway, let's get on to what we're doing tonight. Okay guys, so I found these and thought they were so fun. So they're folded a certain way. You know what, I'll go ahead and take them out. They're folded a certain way to make it look like Santa's elbows are sticking out. But when you open the napkin up, you can tell that's just what it is. And then when you fold it back, it's perfect again. These are double-sided. And what we're gonna do is we are going to I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down like this to show you guys. This arms folded in. Okay. So if you look, all of the important parts of Santa's tummy and his beard and the lower part of his coat would fit adorably on that tag. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna see what this guy looks like. But I think first what I wanna do is stain the back and sides and then I'll decoupage it straight onto the raw wood so it sticks easier. So if you're interested in this one, keep watching. Instead of doing a regular stain, what I'm going to do is just a quick paint stain because then I'll use my heat pen to dry it really, really fast and we can move forward. Okay guys, so to mix up your paint stain, what you're going to want is one part water and one part stain, unless you want it a little more transparent then you just add more water. Very, very simple. So we're gonna time lapse this real quick and then get to the heat pen.
Okay guys, so what you see me doing right here is actually color matching as close as I can get to the buttons on his shirt. So let's do that. kind of what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now okay and then when I'm finished with the entire thing I'll put a clear coat on everything So the heat pen is done. This is completely dry. Um, I will say, when I used the heat pen, obviously the paint lightened a little bit, but when I put the clear coat back on, it'll darken and it'll bring it back and should match the buttons again. So, pretty good match, pretty close. All right, let's move on. All right, so you're gonna wanna open up your napkin all the way. And most of these darkened napkins are two ply. So what you're going to do is separate, oh wow, this one's actually three ply guys, so we're going to be very, very careful in separating this one because we don't want to tear it. We're just going to take our time and separate the two. And the most important part of this is that we don't tear Santa Claus. <clears throat> Okay. Usually the edges are the hardest to separate and the middle just kind of comes apart and again we hit the edge over here. So luckily Santa came off nice and clean. Okay. That's pretty neat because we can actually see that. But what I can also see is that I do not like that I can see the paint under Santa's beard. So I did think about that. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, but that's okay because I have a fix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white paint because I can also see it under his cuffs and under the base of his coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some white paint and go behind those areas, okay? And then put it back on and we will pick up there. Okay guys, I decided to go ahead and just do it all white so that I didn't, I didn't miss any and that's a whole lot better behind Santa's beard that way. You guys can kind of see where the tag is and that works out perfect.
I am using decoupage hard coat, which I love, you guys, because it will give it a hard coat finish. And while it's wet, I'm going to go ahead and remove the edging because it's plenty wet now. Sort of poking through the back, I'm going to poke through the front to where that's a nice tight snug fit and then I'm just going to work it. And while that is in there, I'm going to take my little towel and I'm going to clean the back side off because I don't want to pull any of that yucky glue back through. And some might come out but that's going to keep it from being a mess. There you go. Nice clean hole. My brush is clean. Okay guys, so we're still wet right now. But is that not precious? How adorable. So deciding against wood burning um, because in our house since Bo was two years old she has collected Santa Clauses so we pretty much know this is hers so instead of putting her name on the back what we're gonna do is just crackle this area not the edges we're gonna keep it nice and clean like we did on the front um, but or what it will be once I sand the edges but what we're going to do is put the crackle on and then we're going to go over that with a white. And then I'm going to do a little bit of sanding around the edge here. I'm just giving this a little bit more time. It's got a very slight tack to it. So I'm going to let this dry while I work on the other side. And then we'll sand these edges and it will be done. Okay, so I will run it past Bo and see what she thinks. But I'm kind of between two, which I have not compared up close to the tag yet, but I'm up or down to two different options for her hanger. So, let's see what Bo thinks. All right, Bo, come have a peek and let us know what you think. I feel like I should say snowflakes, but I'm kind of leaning toward the flag. Let's get the crackle on the back and get the white on the back and then we'll have, let her have a peek again. All right, so, Crackling is pretty simple. Um, I am going to be doing it a little bit different than what the bottle says to. I am not going to put a generous layer of paint here before I put the crackle on. I did my paint stain, I did about three coats of that, rubbed that in, and right now we're just going to cross our fingers and see how this goes. We're supposed to put a generous amount of this on, let it dry till it's tacky, and then gently paint over the surface of that. Okay, so this side has now been crackled. And now we are going to do a rough sand just on this curve here all the way around. Okay. Just to kind of get rid of some of the, anywhere where the white paint might have 
seeped out from under or um, where the tissue is just a little bit funny. Crack outside. Slightly roughed up edges. There's no more of the napkin protruding over that round edge. I didn't want it perfect, but I didn't want it passing that edge. And there you have it, guys. There is your giant gift tag. Or giant ornament, or seat marker, whatever you want to call it. Okay? Super fun. Really, really sweet. I will definitely be making more of these. So, again, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, we love making these videos with you guys and for you guys. We just appreciate all of your support. So, again, if you have not subscribed, do me a huge favor. If you enjoyed this video, go down and click that subscribe button. It helps us out and also, if you want to see more videos, there's a bell icon right beside the subscription button, and if you'll click on that, YouTube will notify you of future videos, so you guys don't miss anything. A lot of times we do uh, two-part videos, even three-part videos, um, and we don't want you to miss any of that stuff. So, again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. God bless. Bye. Hey, Dine. What are you doing?